Well, what is it? Do you think it's a, a sort of clash of personalities? The boys, the Beatles, you know, well, they've been over here several times. Mm. And to me, they seem to have a say in everything that happens, I would have ma imagined. I don't know them that well. Well, uh, I think they've always been like that, not just since Brian has taken them over. They've always been like that. They've always sort of had a little bit to say. But um, from the point of um, clash of personalities, well, probably that may be it, because it, Peter was uh, did have a terrific fan club, you know, yeah. compared to the others. It's too good looking, perhaps, eh? Well, I'll leave that for the <laughs> other people to say, but... From my point of view, we haven't come here to sort of um, throw any st sticks and stones at the boys because there is no really hard feeling. There was at first, but as I say, success mm. is hard to come by and these things do happen. But it's just the way that it was done that has annoyed us, mm. that's all. If it had done, been done a bit more straightforward, it would have been more to the mark. I've forgotten about it now, you know, I don't know what they have. Yeah. But uh, the way I look at it, you know. Just let it lie now, except right. for the reports in the papers. And that, you know, it gets me a bit niggled at times. They keep, keep going and having a go at you, do they? Yeah, you know. Well, what, do, what do they say mainly? Well, you know, the drummer wasn't too good, the beat wasn't so hot, you know. Was... How did you get on with Ringo? Did you talk to Ringo? Well, I haven't seen Ringo for donkey's years. I used to be good mates of his, mm. you know, before the replacement took place. We're still mates now, like, but mm. I haven't seen him to have a chat with him or anything like that.